Do you know that more than 50% of US government agencies uses cloud computing and India's largest startup Flipkart uses Microsoft Azure as their cloud computing platform. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what is cloud computing, what are types of cloud computing and beyond. Coming up. Let us try to understand the concept of cloud computing first. From the word, we may uh, get an idea that a computing that is done on the cloud is called cloud computing. Well, that is not what it actually is. The cloud is all safe. It, what it actually means is we, if we can provide the computational services or the computational networking like virtual machines or your operating system, your storage to everyone which is accessible from anywhere, just the way cloud is accessible to everyone and from every location, in the same way, if you can provide all these computational services from any location and at any time, that is what, to simply put, cloud computing is. Uh, now, in a very simple way to understand, say, say, say suppose you have a laptop, right, that has uh, 1 GB RAM and uh, not, not 1 GB RAM, say suppose you have a laptop that has 4 GB RAM and a 1 TB hard disk, right? And you want to play a game, right? But for that game, you need high configuration. <clears throat> Maybe you need to, 2 TB of hard disk and 8 GB of RAM. What would you do in that case? You probably have two options. Either you can uh, buy an external hard disk and uh, or you could buy a new RAM or you could just buy an entire new laptop, right? That is, that is option one, right? That is, that is something everyone would do. But the second option would be, say, suppose I have a good laptop of say a uh, two TB of hard disk and uh, for eight GB of RAM. And I would say that if you have a good internet connection, what you could do is you can sit at your home, right? You can install the game on my system, right? You can install that game on my, my system and with the help of web browser, you can access or you can play the game on my system. In that case, all I would ask is to pay you few bucks or a rent for, for the time you're playing, right? So in that case, it will be very beneficial for me because I need not buy a new laptop, right? and neither I need to buy uh, a new hard disk or need to upgrade my laptop. So for big companies, uh, the cloud computing is a really revolutionary technology which really helps them focus on their business and not to worry about the storage and services. One of the uh, very good or you can say one of the very good um, benefits of cloud computing is the cost. Because say suppose, you have a website, you have an e-commerce website that runs from Monday to Sunday. But suppose on from Monday to Friday, you get very less traffic. So what you would do, you would ask the cloud computing service provider to give me a RAM of only 4 GB and hard disk of uh, say 1 TB. And when it's on weekends, right, and when there's many girls coming online for shopping, you would want to increase your server space from 4 GB to 8 GB and your uh, space from 1 TB to 2 TB. So what would happen from Monday to Friday, right? Your space will be less like 4 GB RAM and 1 TB hard disk. And on Saturday and Sunday, it will scale up to, to 8 GB of RAM and 2 TB of hard disk. Then again on Monday, it would go back. So depending upon the traffic that you're getting on website, you can actually scale up and scale down the configuration of your website. This is one of the best applications or the benefits of cloud computing. Second would be your global available. These, uh, the companies who provide this cloud computing are called uh, cloud computing uh, service providers. Uh, they have their data centers all across the globe in many different places. So what would happen is uh, suppose they, if they have a data center in United States, right, you can save your data over there, right? and have a duplicate copy of the same data in the data center of China and have a second duplicate copy in Australia. So what would happen 
say suppose if you lose your data from a uh, United States data center you could recover it from China and if not China then you could also recover it from Australia the other one would be the performance these providers use high-tech technology and up-to-dated uh, systems to store your data and provide you the best services uh, the next one would be your security uh, the cloud computing service providers are well known for securing your data and also giving you backups so suppose if you store your data there are possibilities that if you lose it or if you don't put up a good firewall a good security anyone could breach your security and uh, you may lose your data but these providers make sure that you get a good security now let's talk about the <coughs> uh, types of cloud computing so types of cloud computing can be divided into three parts the first one is public cloud the second one is private cloud and the third one is hybrid cloud a public cloud is someone who uh, gives you the entire services right and ask you for a certain payment say so one of the example would be your microsoft azure uh, google cloud and uh, amazon aws okay so what they do they have their entire database i mean they have their entire data center they manage the electricity the billing uh, the management and all and you host your applications on their data center right so all you need to do is to pay them a certain amount for whatever space and services that you're using right so in that case the data stores with the third party company if i own a company i'll give it to microsoft azure to host my website and my entire website data or the application data would be stored in microsoft data center that is the public cloud right second comes is the private cloud now say suppose there's a company right i own a company i want to have my own personal cloud what i could do I could buy some servers, right, and put it at my own company, I mean at my company's location, okay, and I would ask or I would hire one guy who would manage it all day and night. That is a private cloud that is specific to only one organization. Often people use it, but it happens to be quite expensive than public cloud because uh, public cloud has been used by many uh, top tier companies and uh, these companies really help you manage your uh, prices and your services. And the last one is hybrid cloud. As the word says, uh, it is a combination of both public cloud and the private cloud. Say suppose I own a server at my company's location. Also, I want some of the data to be shared with the public cloud. So uh, interchange of the data when it happens both from my office location, from my server location, and from the public cloud that would be an example of hybrid cloud and yeah if you're a guy from 18 to 24 which means if you're a student or an engineering student or if you come from any computer science background and if you're watching this video please uh, make sure that you learn this technology in your graduation or your post graduation because companies are now really moving into this cloud computing and cloud computing provides you great services uh, maybe intelligence or machine learning. You don't want to write a code offline, right? You always want to write a code on the cloud because nowadays all companies are moving there. Now let's move into the types of cloud services. It is categorized into four paths. The first one being IaaS. It stands for Infrastructure as a Service. The second one is PaaS. It stands for Platform as a Service. Third one is Serverless. And the fourth one is SaaS, that is software as a service. And let us have a brief uh, introduction to all. Infrastructure as a service means uh, you, what you do is you take the space like storage or the virtual machines on rent, right? And you go on the basis of pay as you go. Like uh, whatever service you're using, you pay only for it. Okay, you need not pay for the other services. Only the service that you have chosen, you pay only for that. Okay, uh, that is your infrastructure as a service. Second one is your uh, PaaS, platform as a service. This is usually meant for the uh, developers who just want to, uh, uh, you know, build their apps, publish it, test it, deploy it without wasting time on how to manage 
the configurations of the service that they're using. So usually it is used by the developers. So in that case, it did not manage the configuration of all the services that it is using. That would be called as platform as a service. The third one is serverless. Now this is taking really into market. This is an event driven service. Say suppose your service will only be used okay when there's an event that occurs okay say suppose if i click on a button okay and the request goes to the server and it reply backs so i will be paid only for that and i will be charged only when the request was made and the request when came back okay only for that period of time i will be charged so that is called serverless the last one would be your SaaS, that is your software as a service. This is usually based on a subscription plan. Say suppose you have, a take, you have taken a subscription of $100 uh, and in that you have taken a virtual machine, an operating system and uh, you can say a storage space. Okay, and, uh, that, 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 and you can access that using a web browser. So software as a service usually works on a subscription basis where you pay a fixed amount say $100, $150 or made ranges from $3,000 depending upon the company. And one, and one more thing before I uh, end this video that cloud computing is beyond just the storage. Often we feel that cloud computing is Dropbox or maybe your Google Drive or maybe your OneDrive. That is one of the application of cloud computing but that's not just the entire cloud computing. It is way too beyond, even beyond the scope of this video. And uh, to get started, I would highly suggest you to learn either Microsoft Azure or um, AWS. Uh, there are many other like uh, IBM is also in there and uh, Google Cloud also does well. But uh, Microsoft and AWS are the top leaders. And if you want to get started, I would highly suggest you to go with the Microsoft Azure as they have really good documentation and uh, they are very no well known good in the market for their cloud computing. That's all for this video. I upload video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like it and share it. My name is Stephen Simon. See you in the next video.